Joining me in Amsanje is a Zimbabwean singing sensation. He has a young lady that actually traveled most of Africa to draw inspiration for Um Uloak. How crazy is that? Please help me welcome Gemma Griffiths. Gemma, or should I say Gemma Griffiths, right? So you were born in Cape Town, Kotwa Ukule, Zimbabwe, right? Now I once heard, Uguti, you'd rather live in Zimbabwe than right here in South Africa. So I'd just like to know, is that because you feel you can grow more as an artist, Lapizim? So both my parents were born in Zim and they ended up studying at UCT in Cape Town. And that is why I was born in Cape Town. I then, when I was about six days old, went back to Zimbabwe and grew up there. So all of my schooling, um, sort of my whole childhood was was very much Zim Zim based. And yeah, we'd we'd pop in and out to to Cape Town and and visit friends and family that side. But uh, for all intents and purposes, Zim Zim was home. Zim has always been home to me. Okay, I right, cool, cool, cool. So, look, I have to tell you the truth. You've got this special voice, right? I really like your singing voice and your lyrics are very relatable. And also, Nje, your choice in beats, yeah, when it complements your style of music, which is Zim Dance Hall, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, look, we know why you're special, right? I mean, we feel it, we can experience it through your music. Kotwa, Ngogwako, what makes Gemma Griffiths special? In your own opinion, what separates you from everybody else? You know, I think I think you learn a lot from different musicians. I think there is such beauty in variety um, and such importance in it as well, in, in, in being different and, and having your own voice, your own sound. And I think for me, um, I think for me, the blend of, of music, the blend of Zim Dance Hall, which I grew up on um, and that I fell so in love with during school, the blend of jazz, which I studied um, in terms of instrumentally, um, chord progressions, things like that, and and then the sort of pop, the pop leaning of my voice, all of that blended together, sort of becomes an amalgamation of a Gemma sound. Um, yeah, I think that's what I would say is is the most Gemma thing about my music. I like that most Gemma thing. So look, um, talking about Gemma things, your EP, A Girl from Harare. Is great. It's it, it's truly special, right? Not only because of the final product, which is the music itself, but also just the process in uh, creating the final product. You know uh, how uh, you traveled across ten different African countries for over five hundred days by car. Uh, to draw inspiration for this project You know, I think that is so hectic It's beautiful, it's hectic I love it, right? So what made you decide to go for it, you know? And uh, will you travel another 500 days To another uh, 10 different nations To create another album? Is that like going to be your uh, your process going forward? Yeah, the journey was phenomenal I would do it in a heartbeat again I traveled 10 countries 24,000 kilometers and 500 days living and writing music and recording music in a Land Rover Defender I had a roof tent on top and solar panels and a fridge and my studio portable and um, guitars and keyboards and microphones and and beaters and I just drove and I wrote music and it was everything you could ever dream of um i wrote this project in total immersion of of the places i was visiting the people i was meeting the sounds the smells you know the the essence of each place um and that journey that i went on really did culminate in this in this collection of of music um and pieces and stories and and lessons that i carried with me from from my home from zimbabwe all the way across the continent um i would love to do it again and i would in a heartbeat um i sort of had to stop because of of covid19 and you know um locking down but ideally and god willing i'll be able to to pick up where i left off at some point soon that's amazing that's honestly amazing. Look, I, 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 I'd just like to ask you one final question. It's a bit of a personal one. So, Gemma, do you believe that you're the biggest artist to come out of Zimbabwe? Do I believe that I'm the biggest artist to come out of Zimbabwe? No, uh, <laughs> I don't. I, um, I've learned so much from, from the artists who have come before me, from Baba Tuku.